What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Monterey Bible, and I'm doing a reading for Sagittarius for the month of May. Uh, let's see, Sagittarius. Uh, month of May is a universal month nine. Uh, we got a whole bunch of planets going retrograde in, in the month of May, so it's going to be a, a very transformative, changing time, but they're made, they're really big planets, and these changes or the things that are slowing down probably will slow be all summer long so I know we've had a lot of craziness happen most of 2020 so May will be the beginning of things slowing down but it's also the month of ending things okay so we're gonna we're gonna see the energy kind of shift to wrapping things up finishing things as May is a universal month nine so we should see a lot of closure and ending things in the um, in the month of May uh, but be sure to check out my um, my my video about the retrograde planets and all all the planets that are going retrograde because I go into way more detail. Now, let's look and see what the tarot has to say for you guys. I'm using my phone for this one to see if it's just to put the video out a little bit faster, <laughs> so I don't have to do as much editing. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, this is for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Um, be sure to give me a like on the video. Uh, and if it resonates with you. Uh, if things aren't clear, you can always get a personal reading and I'll do that for you. Also, you can check your rising sign and your moon sign to get more information. Okay. So, Angel Spirit, guys, ancestors, please give me insights into Sagittarius for the month of May. Sagittarius. Pull a few cards here. Okay. All right, Sagittarius looks like you might be overthinking some things with the Hermit card reversed. Um, also, it just kind of feels like you might be a little uh, tired of being alone. <laughs> the Hermit card uh, reversed is telling me that you could be just overthinking things, tired of being alone, tired of being separated in the situation. Uh, the Ten of Cups, you want this happiness, you want this, you know, feeling of being together with your family. You might be missing your family at this time because it's about talking about what you value. And I feel a little sense of sorrow and sadness with the Three of Swords right there, which is kind of what's on your mind. Just not feeling 100 about something. We do have the Ten of, the, the ten, the King of Cups, he's in the fourth house position, offering you love and support. So there could be someone in your life. Or it could be your energy, doesn't matter, but it could be the Ten of Cups, not the Ten, got the Ten of Cups on my mind. The Ten of Cups is here, but the King of Cups uh, could be a father figure in your life, uh, someone who is loving and mature and very emotionally stable, and they bring you a sense of stability. Also, it could be uh, just your energy as well, but let's look a little more into that. I feel like you might be sad about a relationship. Someone might be communicating to you. Someone might be uh, telling you how they feel. Moving very quickly. But the fifth house, you have the chariot card and the chariot card is reversed. It means that something in the relationship sector just feels kind of a romantic partner as not moving forward, you know? And maybe they hurt your feelings. Um, maybe you feel sad, but things aren't moving forward. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius. You have the uh, temperance card. I feel a little bit of impatience in regards to some kind of commitment or that a relationship, a present relationship needs some healing. Um, temperance is reversed, means that things were moving too fast, there's no patience, um, wanting something a little too soon. Um, it could be on the other person's end, like somebody is really expressing how they feel about you. Fire energy, they're just kind of like, go, go, go with this eight eight of wands they want to communicate how they feel towards you and i think you you may feel sad about it you may feel sad about maybe them not being around this is for the month of may um hmm this person has a uh, this person's energy has a very know-it-all energy but that doesn't necessarily mean they're right they think they're right about everything basically also, there could be a little deceptive energy with them. 
I kind of sense that maybe they deceived you, maybe they lied about something, but they they feel apologetic. They don't want to play these games with you anymore. Uh, I feel like something was overdone. They kind of see you as they they see you as not their wish fulfillment, or they see you as not getting what you want. Yeah, that's it. They feel like they feel like you're not getting what you want. They look at you, and I think you want more because you want that Ten of Cups, and I don't think you've gotten that with them. And you want them to come back into your life, the Eight of Cups. You want them to, or you might desire to come back into their life, Sagittarius. The fearful thing here is, is that you're going to lose. That's how you, it's like it's the 12th house is about the hidden, the hidden fears, the subconscious. I think you're afraid you're going to lose this person. There seems to be a lot of competition. They might be dating a lot of other people. There could be uh, a lot of quarreling. What else do I see? The eight of pentacles talks about there's something that needs to be worked on. A connection that needs to be worked on and the moon card reverse shows me that that there are going to be some hidden emotions that are going to be revealed hmm. Let's see here. I want some clarity I think that you're sad a little upset about something it doesn't necessarily mean sad but it's like uh, Clarity on this King of Cups. Why is this King of Cups here? Clarity on the King of Cups. Clarity. Yeah, this could be someone that you feel very stable with, is with the four of staffs here. This is somebody you want to be happy with, but you don't have a commitment with them. This is somebody you want a relationship with. Um, I don't see anything really wrong with the person. It's just that you guys don't have this happiness. You have the potential to have a relationship with them but you don't have it. Hmm. Clarity on the Three of Swords. What is the Three of Swords? Clarity on the Three of Swords. There was maybe a, a disagreement. A five of, five of Swords and the Three of Swords are popping up. It could have been a past disagreement and you guys, you've gotten over it and you want to you wanna communicate this is somebody also wanting to win at all cost, no matter what. I see this, just some quarreling. That's the second time fives came up. Clarify the temperance card. Clarify the temperance card. I want to see, why is the temperance card here? There's still hope for this relationship. There just needs to be some healing. The hope card, the star card. The temperance there's still some hope there you guys need to be patient more or the other person needs to be patient one of the two i got this little light on it it's making me hot lord i must eight of wands why is the eight of wands here why are they moving so fast okay so the eight transformation <clears throat> they're getting out of their own way they've been thinking about this a lot Okay, and they want to communicate something. Something that's been blocking them. It looks like they're trying to clarify the page. They seem to be apologetic. I think they maybe hurt your feelings, and now they're making they're feeling regretful. Or they have hurt your feelings. Yeah, they were really worried about it. They were worried about hurting you. The Nine of Swords. But they're kind of getting over that too. They're getting over of the stress. They were feeling worried that you maybe you guys weren't going to be together. They've probably been spying on you. They kind of got this know-it-all attitude. Cliff. So I see them wanting to come back. I see, man, that's been almost everybody's reading. Somebody, somebody wants to come back all the time. Clear for the eight of cups. Cliff. Yeah, they're very dependent on you. They're very dependent on you. It's like a codependency. They don't want to be single 
or you don't want to be single and you want and you may come back to them. But they didn't give you what you want. Clarify these six of wands. Yeah. This person makes you happy. You're not gonna get past this. <laughs> you don't wanna lose because or the and maybe their energy too. They've been thinking about you, they don't wanna lose, they don't want to lose you. Clarify the five of wands. Yeah, you guys are kind of stuck because either there's too many people involved. For some of y'all, there's too many people involved. There's too much quarreling, too much back and forth. But this is what makes you stuck. And this is why you just need to work on this relationship, work on this connection. Ooh, soulmate card. This is why y'all keep going back and forth. Can you see that? Soulmate card. You guys keep going back and forth. Because y'all are truly connected. And this person, they're trying to get out of their own way. You want this happy family. You want this happiness with them. I see that they're a good person. They seem to be like a father figure of some sort. They're just not moving forward with the relationship. There's still hope. Clarify the chariot. Yeah. Once again, temperance card. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius or a Cancer. But yeah, this romantic partner, you need to be patient with this person. I feel like your energy is moving fast too because they want to communicate. They're communicating things. They're slowly getting out of their own way. You know, I feel... Like they may be may have been resistant to you. Yeah. You value family. You value this person and you weren't getting what you want. And they know that you weren't getting what you want. Clarify that nine of cups. This is a karmic relationship. This is a karmic relationship between the justice card. Also, you, some of y'all might be dealing with some legal issues. Some legal issues, and this is why things haven't been moving forward. Um, they got this, this know-it-all energy, though. Like, you know, um, they were worried, though. They were worried. They were spying on you. They were checking you out. I feel like, yeah, you walked off you came back or you're going to go back they want you back but somebody's very dependent on your energy now, the thing is <clears throat> you make them happy Yo, what else can I see but y'all just need to work on this connection there's, some, there's going to be some more things that are going to be revealed to you in the month of May about this, about their emotions and how they feel. So just be looking for that. You guys have a good connection. It's, I don't see what the problem is. I think it's just some fighting. Some petty fights. About maybe the connection. Wait, let me get a clarity on that. Let's see. Where would that be at? Probably here. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Yep. So, what it was is that there was some sneakiness going on. Seven of Swords, with the Seven of Swords, someone was doing too much. You're doing, it wasn't communicating things. They were doing things behind your back. You know, and they have regrets. They don't want to do that anymore. They don't want to keep you in the dark. Also, it could be your energy. Maybe you were doing things that you weren't telling things. Maybe y'all both were communicating things, you know, and not being completely uh, honest with each other. Uh, but you guys have a connection and I just feel like it's stuck and you just need to give the relationship patience, be patient with the relationship and things should turn around. 
uh, and get it unstuck. But you guys have to work it out together. And then eventually, you guys will be happy. But uh, the month of May looks like it's just a little, little so a couple of speed bumps. And that's okay. I told you that a lot of stuff was going to slow down because of, we have so many planets going retrograde. We got uh, Venus going retrograde too. So that could cause people to rethink their love life or have issues with their love life. Um, Venus is going retrograde in Gemini. So Gemini is in the seventh house for Sagittarius. So I can see where you may have some relationship issues probably in the middle of the month of May. Um, but just don't let it tear you apart or make you say okay i'm leaving you know just i would just work through the energy um because i feel like even if you walk off or one of y'all walks off y'all gonna come back together either way because uh, y'all can't see to stop thinking about each other a lot of cups a lot of cups in this reading all right so what was the advice i'm sorry let me keep going the advice from the animal oracles okay <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the otter spirit. You are never alone. <laughs> you see how those two otters, there's just a heart. It is shaped like a heart. Oh my gosh, yeah. You guys are really soulmates. You're like, you are never alone. Like, you can't get rid of this person. Nope. Might as well give up and they can't get rid of you. There's some true love connection there. It's just y'all, like I said, y'all at odds at sometimes. And y'all, I think y'all. Y'all battle each other, you know, who's going to have the most power, but y'all have equal amount of energy. They throw their energy at you and you throw it back and y'all are not moving forward because it's like this pushing. I want to go this way. No, I want to go that way. And what happens is nobody's really moving forward. So y'all need to be at the face the same direction. And, uh, you know, it's going to take actually just realizing how much you love each other. And just say, all right, come on, let's and let's let's work this out. <laughs> okay, guys, that is your reading. Uh, make your reality happen because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later.